Hi, this is Pastor John. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, you know, we have this tendency, uh, at least I do, I know that many do because I've talked to many who do. Um, we have this tendency to, um, to focus on the negative and what's not possible rather than defaulting to what is impossible but can be done, the positive. And, you know, we have a project we're working on and it doesn't work out for us. And we think, oh, why do I even do this? All the projects I'm going to do or everything else I'm doing, it's going to fail too. Or we're, we're working on some um, music or maybe we're practicing some sport or we're doing something and we just don't do really well at it at first. And we tend to want to just give up. Oh, I'm never any good at anything. And there's this just negative kind of pessimistic, I guess you might say, attitude that just quickly overcomes us if we're not resisting it. I think it's part of the way we're wired. We're sinful human beings. And although God wired us to be positive about everything around us in the world that is going very well, when sin came into it, the negative took over. And we still see that today. But you know, uh, Habakkuk, yes, uh, the, the prophet Habakkuk, he's one of the minor prophets, he had this uh, prophecy that came from the Lord that was very clear that calamity was coming. Trouble was on its way. God revealed that very clearly to him. But instead of the pessimistic kind of um, negative attitude, Listen to his words. This is, these are amazing words. Listen to what he says in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet. Notice those three little letters. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Regardless, he knew what was coming. He was told. He knew God too. He knew him very well as his prophet that the things that God said would come to pass and those were very troubling times. But yet, he said, yet I will rejoice. I will praise the Lord. I will rejoice in my God and put my trust in him. You know, we are living at a time where we see trouble coming upon the world. Uh, things aren't getting better, they're getting worse. But instead of the negative, oh, you know, terrible things coming, what are we going to do? Let's focus on rejoicing in what God will do. Not only what he can do, but what he will do for us, his people. And when we put our trust in him and what his power can do in our lives, in the lives of our families, that is really worth rejoicing over. So next time you're tending toward the pessimistic side of things, the negative side of things, let the Lord remind you, even pray, Lord, remind me to focus on the positive and what can be done, what we can do with Jesus, because in God or with God, all things are possible. God bless you. Have a terrific day.